Got questions about your taxes? Don't be shy, we've got answers. Here are six tax questions you're too embarrassed to ask. We know doing taxes uh, isn't fun, but yes, you probably have to file a return. Generally, if you make more than $23,000 last year, you should file. Even if you made less, think about filing because you might actually get money back. Maybe your company withheld too much from your paycheck, or you might qualify for a refundable tax credit for low-income filers. You probably won't be waiting long. Most taxpayers get their refunds within 21 days from the day they file. Oh yes, it can. There are four big red flags for the IRS when it comes to keeping all or part of your refund. If you're behind in paying federal student loans, or child support, or state income taxes, or if you got too big of a government subsidy to buy health insurance on a federal or state exchange, then Uncle Sam wants his money back and it's coming out of your refund. Even if you can't pay, file anyway. Otherwise, the government will slap you with a penalty for not filing. Now, you can work out payment options with the IRS. If you owe more than $10,000, hire a tax attorney or an accountant to help you set up a plan. This year, you have a few extra days. Tax day is April 18th. If you need more time, you can file for a six-month extension. But remember, it's an extension to file, not an extension to pay. So if you think you owe money, estimate how much you owe and send it in with your extension request. Otherwise, the IRS can hit you with interest and penalties. Don't worry too much about an audit. There have been so many budget cuts at the IRS, the tax agency just can't do as many audits. But don't get cocky now. The IRS has copies of any tax forms you get from employers, banks, brokers, you name it. And it uses an automated system to cross-check them. Any discrepancy could trigger an audit. And watch it when it comes to claiming tax breaks. Uh, better make sure you actually qualify for the deductions you're taking.